The purpose of this video is to go over how I want you to use this project template that you're going to design, uh, you're going to work in. This is uh, on Schoology for you inside the online instruction folder. Once you go in here, you are going to see the videos hopefully you've already watched. Uh, and then I've also attached the notes and design brief in here for you to look at. The PowerPoint that I'm going over is inside of step one here to find the problem. So in there, you'll download this. I'd like you to download this one time and continue editing that. So at each step of the process that we go through, so we have our 12 design steps. Uh, there's a slide here for each one. You're going to have to add some additional ones as you go through. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, but you're going to upload this at the end of every step. So when we get to step six, I'm still going to be looking at steps, you know, one through five before that. I don't want to just see step six uploaded. I want to see the whole process. And then when you get all the way down to the end, when we get to communicating our results, we have everything already in this one file. All it will be is your final write-up. So make sure you're keeping everything together in this one project here. So uh, on page one, all I need you to do is update your name there. On page two, um, put in your product name here. You're going to put a picture. So take a picture with your iPad, pop that in here. You're going to measure your product to the best of your ability. Uh, so hopefully you have a ruler or something you can work with. Uh, so length, width, and height. Remember that if we look at our design brief, the total dimension needs to be 12 inches or under. So I don't want you making really big packages here. You're going to run into problems getting material and things along that line. So all you need to do is just jot down these numbers, you know, round them to the closest, like eighth of an inch would be fine. Um, make sure they're 12 inches or less. So that's real simple. I'm going to give you five points for your picture, five points for your product dimensions, and then you're going to get 10 points for writing the, um, or defining the problem in your own words. So four to five sentences about uh, your product and how that's gonna work with the design constraints. So looking at the design brief here and looking at your design constraints, read through those, think about your product, think about the window that you might wanna include in there, think about how tabs and things might work. Again, we haven't done any sketches yet, we haven't done any research yet, just overall thoughts on how these design constraints are gonna work with the product that you created. Maybe you need an internal compartment. Maybe you need some padding if it's a, you know, a glass uh, perfume bottle or something you're putting on the inside. What's going to protect that product? What's going to display that product as we go through the process? So four to five sentence here. Um, you know, just delete what I've put in here and then type in uh, your own stuff. Save that. And then you're going to save this presentation. And I would really like if I didn't get 20 of these uploaded as package design project student outline. If you could just rename this with your name, that would be great. And then once you're finished with this, you're going to upload this presentation. Next week, when we get brainstorming sketches in here, you're going to sketch on regular paper. You're going to take a picture of your four brainstorming sketches. You'll add this in, and you're going to re-upload this PowerPoint. So each time I'll see that work compounded upon each other uh, so that at the end we'll have everything in one place. So hopefully that's going to be easy for you to follow. Now, as we go through, I added one slide for each of the design steps, but you are going to need more. Like brainstorming, you can probably get your four little thumbnails on here. Research is going to take a few more slides. You're going to find some pictures and things online. Again, we'll get into that towards the end of next week. But all you're going to have to make sure you, um, you know, just like if you need two research slides, you can duplicate a slide or add a new slide in there, whatever works for you. But some of these you're going to need multiple things, like especially when we get down to developing a solution. You're going to have a lot of sketches and things here that you're putting in, some drawings that you make. This might be four or five slides of developing a solution. But don't cram in like the little pictures. Don't jam them in little corners. Just add additional slides as we go through. I'll be talking about more of that as we go through the coming weeks. But again, just for this first upload, put your name on that one, your picture, your product name get your dimensions in there, and then four to five sentences about what you're, what you're looking to do here. So that's it. If you got problems, make sure you email me. Again, office hours are 8 to 11. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can uh, if you send me an email. All right, have a good